Today is a very exciting day. I'm having to talk a little quietly because it's still 3 a.m., but I have a busy day planned ahead of me. It's Sunday today, and yesterday I took my car in to get a hitch receiver installed. There are a few different projects that I think that hitch receiver will really help with. And um, the biggest one right now is I wanted to take my sailboat out and actually use it since I own it and it's sitting in storage pretty close to my apartment. And the only thing I really needed was a hitch receiver so that I could um, attach the trailer to my car and tow it to the boat ramp. The first thing I noticed though was uh, when I was towing my sailboat down from my old storage unit up north, I realized that one of my tail lights was out. Upon further investigation, I discovered that the light bulb was broken and there was just a ton of corrosion inside the light housing. So uh, I decided to ditch those and saw some LED units that I found off of Amazon, link in the description below of course. And that project turned out really well. I just uh, cut off the old ones, soldered in some new ones, um, put a little heat shrink around it, and we should be good to go. Then yesterday, I went and actually got that hitch receiver installed. Um, cost way more than I was originally planning on spending, but um, I think ultimately it's probably going to be a good thing. It'll allow me to uh, do a lot of video shoots that I just wouldn't be able to do otherwise and uh, my channel does make a little bit of money and hopefully it'll pay for itself eventually. Uh, the hitch receiver that I decided to go with was not the factory one. Uh, the factory one on at least my year model um, is not the 2 inch hitch receiver and there's a lot of advantages to going with a 2 inch rather than I think it's the inch and 3 quarter. Uh, the reason for that is that it just gives you a lot more options for accessories that you can attach to your hitch receiver. So if say I wanted to attach like a spare tire holder or a bicycle rack or um, anything like that, most of those accessories are only mountable on a 2 inch hitch. And so I thought it was really important to get that 2 inch hitch so I don't have to have like an adapter or lots of things dangling off of the end of my bumper. The other reason why I decided to go with uh, this particular hitch, this is the Eco Hitch by Torque Lift. Um, so Torque Lift is actually a local company to me. Uh, they probably make the best hitch receivers for the Subarus in general. And they actually are a really good company. They do custom hitches for all different vehicles. In the case of Subarus, uh, they're really known for making these hidden hitches. So um, the hitch receiver can actually be removed. Uh, from the rest of the mount uh, just by I think it's a single bolt it might be two bolts I'm not really sure I haven't quite looked yet but um, the receiver itself can come off so that you can have a little bit more ground clearance off-road that type of thing and it takes up a lot less room underneath the car than something like a cheap Kurt hitch uh, another really good advantage to it is that it doesn't require any drilling it just uh, mounts directly to existing bolts in the car and it's very easy to install um, my usual problem that I just don't have the space to do it and I don't want to get hit by a car doing it on the side of the road So I actually drove down to their shop Which is down in Kent just south of Seattle and had them do the hitch receiver install and while they were at it I had them um, install the wiring which actually cost probably almost as much because of the labor involved It's not a factory installation where you're running it out the trunk. Um, they actually installed a proper four pin connector um, right next to the hitch receiver and so that does kind of hang down underneath the bumper just a tiny bit but those four pin connectors are only maybe like half an inch tall so it's not a huge amount but um, their work is warranted for life they have a really excellent reputation I think they are the right people to actually do the install and do it correctly so the end result was yesterday I got my hitch receiver installed I drove down and tested it on my boat trailer I took some measurements so I could get the correct um, ball mount and I'm ready to go today. I just have to do a little bit of packing for this trip and um, then I'm going to be heading out. The boat ramp I want to go to doesn't open until 6 which is just after sunrise so that should work out perfectly. But I do have a little bit of filming before I actually go down and pick up my sailboat.
pulled the sailboat out of the storage unit and hooked it up to my car. I had to reverse the ball mount so that there was a little bit more rise from where it normally attaches onto the bumper, but once I got it on it fit perfectly, I locked it up with a couple of locks so someone doesn't run off with it, and I was ready to go. I wired it up, checked all the lights, and everything looked great. Once I was at the boat ramp, I spent about an hour rigging the sailboat. It only took so long because I haven't done this in quite a while, but everything went together just like it should, and I launched the boat without any issues. Once I left the boat ramp, um, I went out into Elliott Bay and started sailing. It was a very light wind day with winds predicted to be around 5 knots. I'm not sure it ever really made it up to 5 knots, but it was a good first test of the sailboat. Most of the small waves that you see here are actually from the Duwamish River entering the Puget Sound, not necessarily from the wind. Even though this is the weekend, I didn't see a lot of other recreational boaters out on the Elliott Bay, and that's actually fairly normal, especially in this part of the bay. You can see a lot of ferries and other commercial traffic in this part of the sound, and it's best to stay away from them. Where I was sailing was very shallow, and because my boat is so small, most other boats don't really want to go in this area. But I didn't have to worry and it was a lovely place to sail. Well, it's a really nice light weather sail out here today. It's actually just about time to head back. Um, I don't want to be too late. The tide's going to be heading out at a pretty good clip, and I don't really want to deal with that. And also, um, <laughs> I do go to bed fairly early. It might not be the fastest sailing, but once you get the boat dialed in, uh, it's still a lot of fun. When I was looking at the forecast, it looked like the wind was supposed to be picking up today, um, but it seems to have just completely died. It's flat calm out there. So I packaged up the sails, as you can see like that, and um, I'm just gonna row back. I'm probably a mile at most from the boat ramp, so I didn't really make it very far. So no big deal, um, I needed to work out anyways. After successfully retrieving the sailboat, I packaged everything up very neatly so it was much easier to put up again once I decided to take it out again and I drove out to the local car wash to rinse all the salt off. I don't normally sail in salt water with this boat but it was worth it today.